Uh-oh. This is an all too familiar scene. Meet Jerry, a sysadmin, facing issues like this every day. Without his technological prowess and powerful brain, company productivity would screech to a halt. However, slowing him down at every turn are stories of nincompoops who failed to heed his advice. This is Mildred from the HR department. Speak softly and slowly as not to confuse her. Mildred is a bit of a butterfinger. This is the third laptop computer she has broken. There's only one way to fix this kind of problem. Ah, uh -uh, Jerry. Violence in the workplace is generally frowned upon. Take a deep breath. There you go, kid. A little bit of sysadmin ingenuity goes a long way. I think we've nicked that problem once and for all. Stanley from marketing has downloaded a virus and infected the entire office again. Now, Stanley, I thought we talked about this. We are all responsible for the security of our office. Now, now, Stanley, you know better. Until his computer gets back from the lab, the best recourse is public shaming. Shame! Shame! Oh, boy. Don't make any loud noises or sudden movements. This is Rodney from sales. Try distracting him for a moment with a ball or something shiny. Oh, looky here, a ball of foil. There's using your noggin. Remember, you only have a few quick moments to tune up his computer system before he returns. There, fit as a fiddle. Now that you've met your corporate leadership team, we will introduce you to the rest of your end users in the next film. Meet the plebeians. Good luck, Jerry. You're going to need it. Remember, today is your day, so get out there and be the best sysadmin you can be.